are back with Sporkle because I, I ripped you off and didn't give you enough Sporkle last week. And also, I like Sporkle. So we're doing approximated Geo duels for the time being so that it is not um, just Hollywood actors and actresses, but it probably will be uh, at some point. But for now, this is connect complete the, the map snippet. I don't remember the rules. I think they show us a part of Earth and we name every country that is inside of it. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. Slovenia. Okay, we know this. Next to Slovenia is Italy. Uh, and then you can see a little of Switzerland. And then you can see a little of Liechtenstein, which I cannot spell. You can see a little of uh, um, Luxembourg. You can see a little Belgium. You can see a little France then. You can see a little of the Netherlands. The Netherlands. I'm never going to spell it. Maybe you can see the Netherlands from here. Okay, you can see Germany, of course. You, you definitely cannot see the Netherlands. My mistake. There's a little Austria in there. Um, now, going to the east, we have Poland. Uh, we have Czechia. We have Slovakia. We have Romania. We have Hungary. We have Belarus. No, we, we have Lithuania. We have Latvia. Okay, hold on. 13 of 18. Now we got to go down from Slovenia. We have Croatia. We're going to scroll down slightly here. We have Albania. Are you kidding me? We have um, Montenegro, we have Macedonia, we have Bulgaria. We have 33 seconds, I'm panicking. What's north of Romania? Moldova. Ah, shit. Wait, Lick did Lick Tinstein. Okay. Hold on, there might, is there more in the, no, there's no more in the south. Okay. Croatia, Albania, Serbia. Let's go. Um, okay, we got no Bosnia. We got no North Macedonia. Right? Is there a little? I thought there was an oblast over here. Ukraine. And by the way, I thought that was water. I'm just going to be honest. I thought that was, that was water. Why did they color it in blue? Okay, yeah, I'll take the L on that one, okay? I'll take the L. It was all blue? Yeah, but like... Why is everyone focusing on how I didn't know where Ukraine was on this out-of-context map? But I did know how to spell Liechtenstein, which is fucking cracked. By the way, average score 88. We got an 89, so suck it. <laughs> I really thought the average is going to be like 57. <laughs> All right, next quiz, next quiz. Play quiz. This is Cameroon. I'm in hell. Um, I'm screwed. So Cameroon, um, there's Nigeria. There's Nigeria. There's Ghana. There's Burkina Faso. There's... Oh, this is not good for me. There's um, Cote d'Ivoire. Can we see Morocco from here? Can we spell Morocco? Can we see Algeria from here? Okay. Is that not Morocco next to it? Maybe I'm... Is that Mali? Okay, that's Mali. Okay. Dude, I'm already over 50%. This is crazy. Can I get a little Egypt? Yas, can I get a, get a little Libya? Yas, can I get a little Tunisia? No, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Now, south of Egypt, you have Ethiopia. I guess we're not seeing that part. Okay, that's fine. Don't forget about Kenya. Don't forget about Uganda. It's a little bit to the west. Okay, don't forget about the Central African Republic. Don't forget, okay, I got to scroll down a little bit. I really should know what this country is. Given that we're here in, Ge well, we're in this region in GeoGuessr all the time. Um, maybe we can see Sudan. Maybe we can see South Sudan. And then this, 
large block right here is kind of throwing me for a loop. A few countries in there. Um, Zimbabwe. Mozambique. Twelve seconds. That's a problem. Um, okay, you know what? I'm happy with myself. I'm happy. I can live with that. Chad, Benin, and Togo. Dude, what the hell? People are doing amazing with this. The average score was 82. Miss Chad. Ah, dude, I, you know what? I can remember that. Because I, I know the meme now. It looks like the face. It kind of looks like the Chad face. I'll give you that. Next quiz me. Please don't put me in the Caribbean. I'm begging you. Two minutes, okay? Vietnam, easy. Cambodia, Laos, Thailand. Um, okay. Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan. A little China up there, or maybe a very large China. You can't see Korea or Japan, but maybe you can see Taiwan, okay? Maybe you can see Hong Kong. I don't know. Maybe it's literally already highlighted here. My mistake. Um, all right. Nine of 17. Maybe you can see Sri Lanka. Oh, maybe a little India poking out there. All right. Um, maybe a little uh, um, Pakistan. 11 of 17. There's got to be so there's more around here. I should know. We, just the slightest Japanese archipelago. I, we would see South Korea from here, but I should type it anyway, just, just to be sure. 12 of 17. Wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe a little Indonesia? No. Oh, maybe a little Malaysia? I'm a fire in Malaysia. Maybe a little Philippines? I always spell it wrong. Okay. Dude, once those islands start getting filled in, it seems a little easier. Maybe a little Papua New Guinea? Maybe, uh, we're not seeing any Singapore. I feel like I'm done. Myanmar and Brunei. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? I don't know if this will ever help me, but um, I, I can remember that it's Brunei because it kind of looks like a B. And... Myanmar. Okay. So I'm just saying like this is a North American ignorant take. I feel like Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, I know them well and I know they're close together because of cuisine. Laos, because of language, like the, the typeface looks similar, the alphabet looks similar to me at least. I don't see much... Myanmar cuisine slash any. It's an isolated dictatorship. Even the food doesn't get out. It's just because you're geo pilled. I get. You know what? We never end up in Myanmar in in geo guesser. That's for sure. Crab Rangoon. I haven't had one since Far Cry Four. Oh, is this the one where during the lockdown there was the um, the lady was dancing in front of a news feed of the government buildings while the military coup happened in the background? Ah, okay. I saw that video. What the, dude, people are so good at... Uh, and <laughs> Geo Sporkle. How the hell? Next quiz. Please don't put me in the Caribbean. Kyrgyzstan. With an exclamation mark. Okay. Um, Russia. Kazakhstan. Uzbekistan. Mongolia. China. I like how it has an exclamation mark. 
Now, um, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan. Now, the Black Sea is somewhere like it's around here. So we might be thinking Georgia. We might be thinking Azerbaijan. We might be thinking Turkey, even a little Turkey over there. Might be thinking, um, okay. We might be thinking India. We might be thinking Pakistan. We might be thinking Afghanistan. We're at 14 of 17, and I am pogging. We might be thinking Iraq. We might be thinking Iran. We have one remaining. And it's right here. Or here, but here, I think. I think, yeah, that seems right. Yeah, yeah, that's not the Black Sea. This is the Black Sea. You are a country. You are not Bahrain. That's where my head went. Are you... You're not Syria. Syria is more part of, like, the Levant region. Man, it seems so doable. Like, I, I honestly just don't know. I gotta have to give up. Um, oh, okay, that is the Black Sea. That's my mistake. Or that's the Caspian Sea, my bad. <laughs> okay, that's Armenia. Look, the only Caspian Sea I know is the capital letter in Prince Caspian, the Chronicles of Narnia book. Number two, I think. That's Lake Erie. I, honestly, these seem too easy, and I know like I'm not crushing the average, but I mean, like they're too easy relative to um, like what I would like, which is a, a harder quiz. <laughs> Because I can do, I can name most of the countries that are around the country. We got to get a little bit more difficult here. Kenya. Okay. Be careful what you wish for. South Africa. Oh, no. What? Uganda? What? What? Wrong. Ethiopia? Um, this is hell. Madagascar? Okay. How is South Africa not on this map? Is it like, is twisted? South Sudan. Sudan. Nigeria. What, are we, how zoomed in are we? How is South Africa not on the map? Eswatini. Lesotho. Lesotho, sorry. Botswana. Okay, hold on. Now we can zoom in. Okay, now I get it. Gaborone. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Sen say a car? Central African Republic? Uh, I'm in trouble. I still, I, I can't fathom South Africa not being in here. Benin, Togo, South Africa, Mozambique, Uganda, Egypt. Oh no, I'm getting, I'm getting like four out of sixteen. African countries, Ghana. There's no way there's Senegal on here, man. I know it's the it's the southeastern coast of of Africa. But like I I I can't I can't get where's where's South Africa? I give up, man. I'm I'm done. I give up. I I have to I have to glance. I have to take the L. Well, that's just embarrassing. To be honest, we got four out of 16. The average was 76. All right. Well, that quiz was a lot harder. Come on. Give me like a North American one that doesn't have the Caribbean in it. Here we go. This is going to be our last one. Okay. This is Russia, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Germany, Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Hey, I, I'm here in GeoGuessr quite frequently. Belarus, Ukraine. Okay, UK, Ukraine. 13 of 16 already. France, 
Belgium, the Netherlands. Time. Wow, and you guys thought I was bad at this game. It turns out I'm actually the best that's ever done it. Completely flawless. That was a speed run. It took us 36 seconds. UK did get handed to me. That might have been a tough because you don't... Until you see it, it's hard to like anchor the, the map, right? You know, it, obviously when you see the UK, you're like, oh, this is like the western edge. But when you, uh, when you don't know the UK is going to be there, you don't know, man. Okay. Hot quizzes trending now. Hot quizzes in your area. Quizzes. Popular. Popular. I don't care about today. Let me see last seven days. Every time there's always countries of the world find the U.S. states. I respect it. NBA logic puzzle. Country trivia logic puzzle. How about that? Country trivia logic puzzle. Play quiz. India. Each country in column C is the most populated on its row and continent. Okay. One of the most populous countries is China. I don't know how to do this. Let me refresh. You have to put it in the right square. I'm not going to move cam. It's okay. I read it out loud. Just keep it in. You just have some object permanence, okay? Play quiz. Each country in column C is the most populated in its row and on its continent. C1, China. Suriname is in F4. Bahrain is not in the quiz. Okay. Great question. Suriname. We'll put that in F4. A unique continent defines each row. And each row contains only countries on that continent. Suriname is in South America. The most populous country in South America is probably Brazil. Oh! Find Morocco at A2 and Iceland at B3. Morocco at A2. Iceland at B3. Iceland. Okay. Canada is adjacent to Brazil. False? I'm going to type false. Okay, but it has to be in North America. This is Europe. Asia, Africa, Europe, South America, Canada must be here. What the fuck? It's not the most populous. Where could it be then? I, you know what? I got to run it back. I got to run it back. I'm confused. I have, I have some... I have some bad information. Oh, di adjacent diagonally? That's, that's fucking bullshit. That's something you have to put a, an asterisk on when you do it. Don't ask me to read the user manual before I get started. Read how to play. It's there. It's in the appendices. Get over yourself. That's not adjacent. That's called kitty corner. Okay, we know this is China. We know this is Suriname. We know that this is Brazil. This is Morocco. And this is Iceland. Every four-letter country from the Americas is in the quiz. Okay. Canada is adjacent to Brazil. So it must be here if diagonals count. I'm going to become the Joker. I guess it could have been D5 now that I think about it. <laughs> 
It's like playing fucked up Sudoku, man. All it takes is one one bad quiz. Not that this quiz is bad, just a little bit, maybe like um, high maintenance. Okay, we know this is China. We know this is Suriname. We know this is Brazil. We know this is Morocco. We know this is Iceland. Canada is orthogonally adjacent at the position D5. There is only one island in this row. Okay. Every four-letter country from the Americas is in the quiz. The most populous country in North America is the USA. Every country in column B, except one, is an island nation. Cool. So I'm going to guess that like you're probably Cuba. Hold on. The most populous country in Europe. And the most populous country... Uh, in Africa. Motherfucker. <laughs> the most populous country in Europe is probably Germany. Ah! Replay me. I can't look at chat. They're going to know the answer 100%. Maybe it's the UK? I really thought it was Germany. Like, I, don't, I still don't feel like that was a stupid guess. China. Suriname. I'm like, I'm skipping places, but that's okay. Morocco, Iceland, Brazil. Canada. USA, USA. Every country in column B is an island nation except one. Except one. That's such a, a slap in the face. So we know Cuba is probably here. Because it, it's an island. And there's only one island in this row. Okay, good stuff. We, we got something here. That means there's no more North American islands in here. The only one-syllable country starting with S is in this quiz, but it is not adjacent to Suriname. Okay, we're going to wait on that. I could not even hazard to guess the most populous country in Africa. My guess would be South Africa because it's large on a map. Um... But I don't know. It could be Algeria. It could be Kenya. It could be... I don't know. I just I don't have an answer for you. So let's think about this, okay? How much time we got? 18 minutes. Holy cow. Okay. Asia. Most populous country in Europe. The most populous country in Europe. One syllable country that starts with S. Singapore. <laughs> Spain. Spain is not adjacent to Suriname. So, it's not here, it's not here. We know it's not here. Spain is here or here. Unless Spain is the most populous country in Europe. But I don't believe that. I don't believe that it is. The most populous country in Europe. UK. Motherfucker! Jesus Christ. Is this shit made by Jigsaw? Like, this is... It's too much, man. China. Morocco. Every day we get closer and closer to God's light. Brazil, USA, USA, Suriname, Cuba. Spain. <laughs> Maybe these the country's first letter spells out something in this column, and it spells out, I'm sad. I am Spain. There's only one island nation in this row. 
it still leaves so many. Obviously, we expect Mexico has like a good chance. A unique continent defines each row. Country most populated in its row and on its continent. Okay, that well, in that case, we know Morocco is not the most populous country in Africa. Otherwise, it would be here. What the hell is the most populous country in Europe? Russia is like 120 million people. We should let's give it a try. Okay. The unite two united blanks are in column D. Okay. This should be the United Arab Emirates. And then column D. We'll have to wait on that one. What about the Federated States of Micronesia? Three countries in row five have a capital that ends with city. This is row five. Three countries have a capital that ends with city. Wrong. This is wrong. Cuba is Havana. This is Washington, D.C., and this is Ottawa. We have been lied to. I don't believe that that's true. Am I losing my mind? What about the other three? Oh, yeah, there's six of those things, right? Yeah, okay, you're right. There's six of those. That's, that's pretty true. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there were only five columns. Maybe because it's row five. This is not a square. This is a rectangle. I told you I'm not good with shapes, okay? Three countries in row five have a cap. Okay, so we, one of these, obviously... Well, they're all from North America. So there's going to be a Mexico City here. There's probably going to be like a Panama City. And we'll just remember the other one. We'll figure the other one out. Two united countries are in column D. They're a European United, the United Nations. There must be, is there an African country that has united? Is there a South American country with united? Is there a European country with united? I'm in hell. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So Spain is here? Or here. I'm going to say it's here. Because I can't think of a European country that starts with United. Ah, all South American countries appear in alphabetical order. Okay. Well, that's confusing for me. Because there's definitely Argentina. <laughs> and... Uh, Two countries come before Brazil. Antigua? That's North American, I think. Argentina. Colombia. Peru. I mean, there's a lot of real estate here. I think you're Argentina. And this could still spell out I'm sad. I'm going to take a lark on it. An O country can be found at either F1 or E3. F1. This would be an Asian country with an O, perhaps Oman, or E3, a European country that starts with O. Doesn't seem likely. I'm going Oman F1. No country with more than four words in its name appears in this quiz. It's the worst clue I've ever seen in my life. I'm in hell. All South American countries appear in alphabetical order. What is this nonsense? Something between AR and BR. It's going to be a B. It's going to be... Bolivia? Bolivia? 
Did I type it in the right spot? I must, did I type, I typed it in the wrong square. Run it back. Then we run it back. Okay, this is the fun part. Okay, we know this is Spain. We know this is Oman. We know this is Brazil. This is Canada. USA. Russia. UAE. This is Iceland. This is Morocco. This is Suriname. You're Argentina. You're Bolivia. I was in the wrong square. That's my bad. If Guatemala is on this quiz, then so is Madagascar. Okay, thanks so much for your help. I really appreciate it. The most populous country in Asia is China. Bahrain's not on the quiz, so you don't even have to worry about that. There's only one island nation in this row. We already know it's Cuba. Okay. The most populous country in Africa. I can't help but feel that that square would really help us out. I should have gone bit by bit. I'm losing it. You forgot about D3? What's going on with D3? I should have gone bit by bit. <clears throat> you know Spain? Yeah, it's, it's under my... It's under me. Oh my God. Two united countries are in column D. UK. I'm stupid. Each country, each column has just one country that begins with the letter of its column. No country here begins with the letter of its column. So, a South American country that starts with D, which would also fit here, or an African country that starts with D. How about this? Uh, we have a C country here. Okay, that's something. Do we have a B country here. We have an A country here. We don't have an F country. So I feel like I'm just going to take a stab and say that F3 is France. The world's most southern reaching country is in D4. Chile is the world's most southern reaching country. Incredible. Mexico is on the same diagonal line as Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is a Europe... No, it's an Asian country, which means it would be here. And then Mexico would be here. Or it could be here, and then Mexico could be here. Why didn't you just say it's adjacent to it? Kir Gistan. Mexico. It just says Mexico. It doesn't even have a clue. Is that supposed to be the end? There's exactly two two-word countries. Okay, we only have one of them so far. The United Kingdom. Mexico City. One of these is going to be Panama. And then the other one, I don't know yet. The most populated country in Africa... I'm going to say that it's Nigeria. There are exactly two countries in this row that start with M. I would predict a Mozambique somewhere. Hold on. We, do we know things about columns? They've got one country that begins with the letter of the column. A D country in Africa. 
Why am I so stupid? How much time have I got? 15 minutes. Mm, okay, okay. Djibouti? I'm insane. If Finland is in this quiz, then so is El Salvador. Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know how to answer that. Because <laughs> you could be Finland, which could mean that you're, one of you is El Salvador, but the capital city of, of El Salvador is San Salvador, which is not a city, which means it can't work. So Finland is not in this quiz. Mission accomplished. You're a South American country that starts with a letter between C and S. <laughs> that really narrows it down. Peru, Uruguay, Paraguay, um, Ecuador. You're a non-island North American country. One of you is going to be Panama, and one of you is going to be Guatemala or Costa Rica. Capital of Costa Rica, I don't know. Capital of Guatemala, I think it might be called Guatemala City. I thought it was just called Guatemala, though. Um, I'm in hell. The only, okay, we got that. I'm going bit by bit here. Two United countries are found in column D. There's two countries in this row that start with M. So we know Mozambique is somewhere here. Probably. Or Mali. Son of a bitch. <laughs> There's exactly two two-word countries. We still only have one. What are some two-word countries? United Kingdom. South Sudan. North Macedonia. South Korea. But it, they would... No, it could be here, I guess. Every four-letter country from the Americas is in this quiz. Cuba. It might just be Cuba. Wait, but the Americas. Peru. It has to be Peru. Two of th the three four-letter... Two of the three... Four letter African countries are in this quiz. So we would expect that Mali is on the quiz. And then there's Chad. And then there's another one. But definitely I would say M. So Mali, I would say I have a high degree of confidence is somewhere on the list. A unique continent defines each row. So this is a European country. Do we have a, each column as one country that begins with the letter of its column? You could be Costa Rica. You could be Chad. I'm going to take a look. I'm saying this is Chad, man. Wait, no. Why do I think that you're in the E's? <laughs> you could be Eswatini. Costa, I think it's because I looked at Canada and I thought that that was the, that was the guarantee. How much time we got? Eleven minutes. We got seven more answers. Eswatini, Estonia, East Vancouver. We already got you, 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 you. Okay, and you're all okay. Okay, so. I feel like I have incomplete information, but that's okay. I think we should take a lark on Panama. 50-50 shot. And then there's also a part of me that says, you know, Mali is one of... That's a one in three shot. And then there's... No country with more than four names. Panama. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seventy seven percent. We got this, man. Like we actually have this, but it's kind of it's absurd. China. Let's go bit by bit so we can piece it together again, okay? Most populous country in South America, Brazil. I, I got clue flooded because I just, I played like concentration style. We need to keep, we need to build up the knowledge bit by bit like it's a Sudoku puzzle. It's USA. It's Cuba. Every country in column B except for one is an island nation. I forgot about that. Okay. Now with this, we got Spain. And then that allowed us to get Argentina. This allowed us to get Oman. That didn't do anything for us. Then we guessed that this was Bolivia and it was correct, but we were in the wrong square. Then the most populous country in Europe was Russia. You, that got us UK. That got us UAE. There's one country that begins with the letter of its column. We remember. And for this one, it's Djibouti. Finland and El Salvador are not in the quiz. I just remember that you're Chile because you are France. You're Chile. Then Kyrgyzstan and Mexico. Okay, you're getting there again. We're getting back. If Guatemala's in the quiz, then so is Madagascar. So maybe you're Guatemala. And then Madagascar would definitely fit here. The most populous country in Africa is Nigeria. Every four-letter country from the Americas is in the quiz. That got us Peru. I feel like we're missing some, but let's, let's try from here. So more islands in B. Every one but one is an island country, and Bolivia is not an island. So we are looking for Asian islands. That really narrows it down. Or African islands, in which case we would be very inclined to go Madagascar. It starts with an M, and it has... Uh, it's an island, obviously. Two of the three, two of the countries in this row start with M. So we think Mali is somewhere. Panama is in the same column as Togo. We know Panama's not here, which means Panama must be here. Which means Togo must be here. We were really like one knot away from untying our shoes. Togo's just Togo. Panama's just Panama. You're right. We do have two countries in this row that start with M. My bad. Okay, you're in Asian islands that we don't know anything else about right now, I think. El Salvador should not be on this list. Guatemala? Well, Madagascar, well, now we got to look at a logic puzzle, okay? If Guatemala is in this quiz, then so is Madagascar. Okay, we know Madagascar is in the quiz, but does that mean that Guatemala is? Because I don't know, you can't. If you go to rhetoric school, Socrates, you can't flip that shit back around. It doesn't make sense uh, working in the reverse. There's an, there's an exclusive if here, okay? Are you trying to fuck with me? Are you a programmer? That being said, I still feel like you're Guatemala. <laughs> Come on, you wouldn't screw me like that, right? Okay, thank God. That would have just been like, that's not a geography question. That's just a trick question. Okay, so one of, you, one of you must start with an E. It, you could be Eswatini, but I, I think it's more likely that you're Estonia, just because we're in Estonia more often in GeoGuessr. And you are an Asian island that doesn't begin with an A. What the hell, man? Yeah. 
your Estonia. There is a three-syllable country in F5. No shit. Now, you are an African country that doesn't start with an E or an M. <laughs> Thanks. We need a two-word country. South Africa. How about that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Read E4. Two of the three four-letter African countries are on this quiz. Togo? It can't be Mali. Oh, it's Chad! Replay. We got, We actually got this one now. Okay. I don't know. How long have we been? We've been on this for like half an hour. This shit is crazy. China? But I feel like I've learned a lot, okay? Like, now I just typed F4 into F4. My brain is mush. Most populous country in South America. Brazil. Morocco is at A2. Iceland is at B3. Every four-letter country from the Americas is in the quiz. But we know that this is North America. Most populous country, USA. You're Canada because you're a uh, kitty corner. You're Cuba. We know Spain is here. That allowed us to get Argentina, which allowed us to then get Bolivia, which allowed us to then get Madagascar eventually, which allowed us to get Guatemala, which allowed us to get Panama, which is just Panama. I just happen to know that you are Mexico. You are France. You're Togo. You're Oman, I think. Maybe we shouldn't just be taking chances when we know the answers, but Russia, Nigeria, you're in the UK. Okay, you're in the UAE. Where was the two? In column D, you're the UAE. Let me work on this. I remember. You're um, not Peru. You're Peru. You're Chile. You're Peru. You're Kyrgyzstan, which I'm getting much faster at spelling. You're Chad. And you are Estonia. There are two countries that start with M. You are an African country that starts with D. You're Djibouti. An Asian island. Let's think this one through, okay? It's an Asian island. What else does it have? It does not have four names in it, or four words in its name. Do we need, hold on, two, two words. It has two words. Nothing else has two words except United Kingdom. It is, it's three words. It's a two-word island nation in Asia. Is East Timor a, a, a real place? Is it a... <laughs> North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Not islands. Just countries that are uh, attached to the land or alternatively one of the biggest Hollywood film actresses of the silent generation. I guess she wasn't part... Whatever. Who cares? We're getting lost in the weeds. Sri Lanka? I'm insane. Okay, so that only took half an hour. 
You got to see, like, we crush the average, though. Are you kidding me? We, like, quadrupled the average. That quiz was impossible, man. Who made this? What, what kind of God made this? This is who we're going up against in, in GeoGuessr. Every single time. How do you make a quiz like this? You gotta, this is not really a great answer, but you gotta work backwards, right? Okay, honestly, uh, fuck geography. That shit is too hard. I'm done with it. We've, we've done our practice. Okay, now, logos by face. Ole. You are Ole. Deadpool. The Cincinnati Reds. It's got to be you, right? But it looks too dumb to be a professional sports team, okay? LG, Blink-182. This is Nirvana. This is Blink-182. English Premier League. The Punisher. Classic Mac OS. Little Caesars. Damn, dude, this is way more my speed. I'm crushing it. Reddit logo. Uh, he has a name. Crocs, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, PBS, Bic, and Nirvana. I'm insane. I'm actually incredible. Okay, now I feel better about myself now. Now I don't feel so bad. But that was that was too easy, okay? Oh man. Yeah, but what about most popular quizzes in in movies or entertainment? Famous faces badly drawn. No, I, if these were celebrities, I would have been all about it. But they're um, they're actually fictional characters. It's too easy, man. I would love to see it if it was if it was real people. How about famous faces? No, that's still. And these aren't even badly drawn. They're actually like better drawn than when I draw them. Hamilton characters death match. Can you pick the Hamilton musical character by real life historical death? Uh, I can get one for sure. Shot in a duel with Aaron Burr. That would be Alexander Hamilton. Extreme bloodletting to re relieve inflammation of the windpipe. Probably George Washington. In a Port Richmond boarding house from the after effects of an 1834 stroke. I think that's Aaron Burr. Blind, deaf, and mad. Possibly from porphyria or arsenic poisoning. King George III. Old age. Okay. The, the clues from the songs are too easy, man. That's obviously um, Eliza Schuyler. Unknown. Ma died March 13th, 1814. Might still be obsessing about commas. That's Angelica Schuyler. Maybe she finally made it downtown. That's Peggy Schuyler. I'm leaving the quiz. Because they've, this is not a historical quiz. This is, the, the clues have made me upset. I was going to get 100% and I was going to be mad. And chat was going to be mad, so I left. I, I bailed. Holy cow. Dude, there's a lot of Hamilton quizzes I didn't realize. Oh my god. There's so many Hamilton quizzes in entertainment. We got to go back to movies. Okay, this is one I did want to start with, actually. Complete the movie quotes, but I hope that they're hard. I hope they're not insanely easy, okay? Because if it's like, go ahead, punk, make my blank, I'll be like, it's a little easy. Love means never having to say you're sorry. There's no crying in baseball. Okay, this would be an example of what I would say is a little bit too easy. One morning, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. 
How he got into my pajamas, I don't know. You killed my father, prepare to die. I'm just one stomach flu away from my goal weight. The inimitable Emily Blunt. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I know you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? I am Groot. Okay, I know that one. Bat chest. I drink your milkshake. It's a little too easy, okay? I'm walking here. I'm walking here. You play dodgeball? I love dodgeball. Of course, I was the ball. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. You're killing me, Smalls. I pity your wife. If you think six minutes is forever. I've never seen the movie. You don't even need to see the movie to know what these quotes are, man. This shit is too easy. That's too easy. The quote should be from like the Big Lebowski, but it should be just him like when he's driving. It should be like the blank and then like have an essay after it. This shit's from the trailer. Too simple. Terminator. I will be blank. I think the answer is the Terminator. I will be the Terminator. Find the scrambled movie men. I can do this. Too easy. Match game. Hollywood Squares. Can you pick the stars and movies that... Oh, this is my fucking jam, dude. This is what it's all about.